And Sue's making her move. I'm so bored! Samantha, why are you making this mess? We're in Grandma's house after all. I don't care. It's not fair to take away our phones for so-called family time. Um, num, num. What is happening here? Why are you throwing chess around? I guess this game is just not for Samantha. I'm so bored. There is totally nothing to do here. Don't know. I kind of like it here. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we remake these boring chests into something more fun, like candy? I love it. Luckily, I always have my craft bag with me. You had the craft tools all the way and didn't say a word? I'm challenging you to a battle. The loser will have to release our phone. Deal. Yay, here we go. Oh, I just came up with a great design idea. White chocolate bunnies. You call it a great idea? Dark chocolate bears sound way better. And I will just sit back and chill. No way, buddy. Whoa! When you are just about to relax, here it comes again. Our commander decided to enforce our armor and make us invincible. Long live, commander. Is it really necessary? <laughs> Here are our volunteers! Let's do it. It already looks like a bear. Don't worry, soldiers. Our commander has it under control. I need to catch up. Here we go. Well, well, how's it going there? Looks good. I need to come up with something or she will beat me. Your bunny land could use a couple of wolves, Susie. Uh, something is wrong here. Hmm, <laughs> smells like a bunny. Hey, wolves! <laughs> Samantha, is it your prank? Come on, sister. I did nothing wrong. Don't worry, my little bunnies. I will fix it now. Like this. Aw, oh, what a cutie. Pull yourself together, Sam. One last candy and off we go. Alrighty. We get the chessboard now. <laughs> hey, do I need to paint it square by square? Girls, do you need any help? I am at your service. Looks good, doesn't it? I still think that my bears are much better. Sammy, how is it going with the board? I'm... Yeah, I'm on it. Awesome! My chocolate bears will beat your white bunnies easily, Sue. Get ready for the defeat. We will see about that. But now we need to get to the painting part. Oh, fine, you're right. First, we need to make a base. So the paint layers look more even and the colors don't mix. We can take care of the details. are already numb. Already? Do you surrender? You wish? You don't stand any chance. Look what I made, Sue. Maybe you can use it somehow. Great. Just what I need. And this bunny gets a candy. Now we're ready to move to the next stage. Come on, Sam. Remember all the cool crafts that you've made? You can do this, too! No, I can't! Uh. 
chocolate bears. Are you ready? We're gonna win. I believe in all of you. Huh? Are you alive or something? Retreat! Quick! Something is wrong. Sue, Samantha, did you see that? The figures are alive. What? Sam, did you eat too much chocolate? You don't understand. They moved and talked just like that. Look. I am the king of white chest. Look at me. They were acting like that. Sammy, are you trying to hide that you still haven't done anything? It's not that. It's just... I'm telling the truth. Ugh. Whatever. Hmm. And what should I do with you? Oh, I know. I'll make the knights move. Now it's the perfect time for a little revenge. <laughs> Next, I need... Ugh, what is this? A slime? Did you do it, Sue? I have nothing to do with anything. You know that we have only one slime in our team. Why? Did something wrong happen to your chest? Maybe you need a break or something? You wish? Oops, I guess I overdid a little... This one is too brown. Vanilla is no good, too. Then I guess I need... Sam, will you start working already? Uh, what was that all about? Oh, this bishop turned out so handsome. Did you hear that? I'm handsome. Hi, handsome. Hello there. What? Ah, uh, Sue! Mine are still better. Now give me that real bear roar. Okay, you chessboard. Now it's either me or you. And a half's done. Small trick. Whew, where was that paint? Let's get to it. Hail Tibidaba, it's all done here. You forgot about the sides. He's tired. We can do this on our own. Are you ready, sister? Let's go. Wow, I love how it came out. Awesome! It's the best chessboard in the world. Let's put the chess on it and start the battle. <laughs> Yay, we did it. We are the best. Yes. I mean, let's see whose chess set is the best. You know, Sue, I guess we both did an awesome job. Does it mean I'm the winner? Really? Am I? Of course you are. <laughs> Finally, the recognition. Oh, and who's going to save the phones from prison? Actually, I don't care about it anymore. Shall we play? Let's do this. White bunnies start. The bears make their move, too. Oh, good day, partner. Good day to you, too. Oh, my feta, they are alive. 
Sam was right. See, I told ya. Friends, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you soon. Now, there are all sorts of games you can play, but nothing beats the thrills and spills of the world-famous fingertips racing snails. The idea is to wind up your snail and race it along the course. It may need a helping hand, but whoever reaches the finishing post first is the winner. So, to make this fantastic nail-biting pulse racing game, you need to get your fingertips on some cotton reels. One for each snail. Now you just want to take a cotton reel and fill in all the outside gaps with modelling clay just to weight the whole thing down, but don't put any in that middle hole there. Then you want to get a thick elastic band and wrap it all the way around the outside to create a kind of grippy tyre. Then get a thinner elastic band and just poke this through the centre hole like that, right the way through to the other side. And then you want to get a small piece of barbecue skewer and just put it in that loop that you've just made. Then get a few pieces of sticky tape and take that down in place so it can't move about. Like that. Now, draw around a two pence piece onto a piece of card and cut this out so you'll have a cardboard disc like that and then get a piece of modelling clay so you can protect your table and your fingers and make a hole in the centre of your disc like that. And as you can see we've threaded that cardboard disc onto our elastic band along with five little metal washers. Now that may sound like quite a lot but they're very cheap and easy to get hold of and you can get them from most hardware stores and we found they're the best thing to make your snails run smoothly. Now you need to tie a knot just a little bit above your fifth washer so let's just put that in about there. Then you want to get a longer piece of barbecue skewer and just thread it through the loop that you've just created, just about there. Now you can cut off any excess elastic band on top of your knot. And now it's time to make the racing snail shell. Now for this, you need a small dessert pot that's perfect size. And in one side, just cut out an archway slightly bigger than your two pence corn, which of course will be bigger than the piece of card that you just connected to your cotton reel. Now you want to weight down the dessert pot. So to do this, just stick one two pence coin on one side of the archway, just there, and the other on the other side of the archway, just here. And that should weight it down perfectly. And now it's time to draw your snail. Now, snails are very easy to draw. You just need to start off with a nice big spiral for a shell and then just draw a little body underneath that and a face as well with some eyes. Now, you need to make sure that your snail's big enough to cover the whole of your dessert pot. And don't forget, if you're going to have a race with lots of snails, they all need to be facing the same way. Then you can stick your coloured-in snail onto your dessert pot opposite your archway, just there. And we've added a few more two pence pieces just to weigh our cotton reel down a little bit more. So cotton reel engines are raring and ready to go. And the great thing about these snails is they'll run on almost any smooth surface. Hey, you could make your own racing track complete with start and finish banner. We've even made these little barriers here to keep our snails on the straight and narrow. We've got bushes and a bridge for our snails to go under. So, if you want to make your party a surefire winner with racing snails, then you could check out our website. If you've recorded today's show, of course, you can play it back whenever you fancy. But if you do have a pen and paper ready right now, should we go over it again? Yeah. Here we go. Using one cotton reel for each snail, block the ends with modelling clay. Wrap the cotton reel in an elastic band. Thread a thinner elastic band through the centre of the cotton reel and fasten off with a piece of barbecue skewer. Thread the other end through a two pence piece size piece of card and five washers. Fasten it off with a longer piece of barbecue skewer. Then cut a hole in a dessert pot and stick a two pence piece coin either side of your archway. Cut out and decorate a snail shape and stick it onto the dessert pot opposite the archway. Then just add the cotton reel engine. So with your snails in place, you're ready to race. The snails are at the starting line, engines are revving and the crowd are getting restless. They're under starter's orders. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Oh. So race to it and make sure that your 
your champion sports party has a winning streak with the fingertips racing snails. <laughs> What's this? It's a mini makeup postcard. Let's see what we've been sent today. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. My name is Anthony. I live in South Africa. I made a rain suit for you. First, I took a cardboard tube. Then I put some rice and foil springs inside. Then I covered both ends. Then I decorated it. It's a musical instrument that sounds like the rain. My name is Isadora and I am from Brazil and I made this house with shapes. I did the sun and the clouds and a big house. I hope you like my picture, Mr. Maker. Oh, what lovely ideas. Why don't you try some of those today? <laughs> oh, oh, the Maker phone's ringing. Excuse me. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Mr. Maker, I'm Grace from the UK and these are my friends. Can you help us make a picture? What a lovely idea! I'll see you for a high five in five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one. We're in the UK. I made it! <laughs> I told you I would. Right, high five. <laughs> So, what picture would you like to make? Forest! A forest picture. Now, what's going to be in our forest picture? Trees! Lots of tall trees, good idea. Any animals at all? Squirrels! Squirrels. Owls. Oh, these are great ideas. Are we ready, everyone? Yeah! Let's make it together. These are going to be the trees. You're making a fox. These are the toadstools. And we'll need a nice woodland background. We're having a great time making our big picture, and that's just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making your own little woodland creature like this cute squirrel with a fluffy tail. You will need a cardboard tube and paper, fun foam and a glue stick, a pen and some scissors, stickers and a small pom-pom, and a strip of fun fur. First, scrunch some paper into a ball for a head. Then wrap it into another piece of paper, leaving a long piece like this for the neck. Glue the head and neck into a cardboard tube. Now fold a piece of fun foam in half and draw an arm, a leg and a triangle for an ear. Carefully cut them all out. And because we folded the foam in half, we now have two of everything. Next, stick on the ears, the arms, and the legs. Take the piece of fun fur and add a line of glue along the back of it. Then, fold the long edges into the middle and stick them down. Now, stick the fur to the back of the tube and glue it into a curly tail shape. Next, scrunch up a ball of tissue paper and stick it between the squirrel's hands to make a berry. Add stickers for eyes and teeth. Add a small pom-pom for a nose. And finally, a small sticker for a berry leaf. Your terrific tube squirrel is finished and ready to play with. <laughs> Why don't you try that? It looks lots of fun. But right now, let's get back to the forest and see what the mini makers are up to. <laughs> oh, 
Well done, everyone. We made it together! Yeah! Wow! Look at our woodland picture. It's full of wonderful wildlife. We have had some amazing arty adventures today. And I... No, Scraps, we can't live over there. That's Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Don't worry, Scraps, it's just the maker phone. Oh, it's Toki, it's Toki. Time to go, time to go. Oh, all right, Toki, I'll be home soon. Well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. Look at that! We've arrived in the UK! I'm sure we'll find some arty ideas. Let's have a look around. There's so much to see here. Rivers, ships, castles, and pretty gardens with lots of plants and flowers. These trees are really nice, lovely and leafy. And they've just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Have fun with twirls by making a terrific twirly tree picture. Let's make it! <laughs> now, we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Joseph. Oh, hello, Joseph. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. But, Joseph, let's get making. Oh, brilliant. Joseph is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> oh, excellent. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some paper or card, some scissors and a pen, and of course, we need one more thing. That's right, we need a party blower. <laughs> a party blower? Scraps, how did you get here? Look, I haven't got time for a party at the moment. Take this back, please. That's it. And go and find me a glue stick. Go on, off you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a really good party as well. Ah, well done, Scraps. That's just what we need. Thank you. Go on, get back to the party. Good dogs. We have a glue stick. Excellent. We've got everything we need. <laughs> Although... It does feel like something is missing. Do you know what it is? No. Um... I'm you, Spicker. Of course, Joseph. It's you, my friend. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Thanks for coming. You're just in time to help us make our picture. It's a twirly tree picture. And it's got lots of green curly leaves. Now, Joseph, are you ready? Yeah. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's get making. Now, the first thing we need, Joseph, is a big piece of paper or card for our background. Now, I think this will work well. We're going to use blue because it's going to be the sky. Now we need to make the forest floor. Could you pass me that, that nice light brown paper? Let's get tearing. We've also torn some green paper for the trees. Make sure you leave a gap at the bottom and the top like this. We need some more paper now. and We're going to cut the paper into lots and lots of lovely strips. Let's use brown paper for brown strips. And why don't you cut some strips, Joseph, from that green paper? We must be careful, though, because scissors are... Sharp! Oh, that's right. <laughs> Now we've got lots of brown strips and Joseph's made green strips. We're going to start with the brown strips now. These are going to be the tree trunks. So let's start to lay them down 
It looks good if you tuck the trunks under the leaves at different angles. And when you've finished arranging the trunks, stick everything down. Our picture is really starting to take shape. But something's missing. What is it, Joseph? Salt? If you say so, music, please! <laughs> oh, lovely. Ooh. Yes, Joseph? I mean the twirls on the trees. I knew that, really. We need to make the twirls on the trees. And to do that, we need one of our strips and a pen or pencil. We take one of the strips and just wind it around the pen. And when you get to the end, carefully slip it off the pen and you have a curly, twirly, springy shape. Now, we need to make lots of these, my friend, so let's get twirling. <laughs> right. Keep going until you have curled up lots of paper strips into twirls. Now, stick down all of the curly twirls onto the green part of the picture. It looks good if they're close together like this. Your twirly tree picture is finished. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? How about adding a boat to a twirly sea with a twirly sun and clouds? Or you could even go curl crazy with a twirly bird, cat and flowers. Why don't you try one today? Thank you so much for helping me, Joseph. We made, made it. it! High five! What a terrific twirly tree picture. Thanks, Joseph.